Okay, so normally I don't make videos on the Deltarune newsletters. Everybody gets them, everybody reads them, and it just seems like a cheap way to get views for me. I'd rather pump out quality content and other stuff like that. However, this update seems pretty important to me because it looks like Deltarune Chapter 4 and Chapter 3 are both coming pretty soon. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. Uh, we're finally getting some new Deltarune content. Uh, it's been three years since chapter two. And if you haven't been paying attention to Toby Fox's releases in the past, most releases are three years apart. Undertale was three years apart from chapter one. Chapter two was three years apart from chapter one. So we're in that time frame where stuff can release. And I thoroughly believe it can actually come out this year. Uh, a lot of things is gonna have to line up for that. And also, I think I have a date in mind on the most likeliest date on when it can come out. Uh, what this newsletter is telling us is that it's, it's almost done. <laughs> There's only a couple small things to do left in the chapter. However, they're for the release of everything. That's probably going to take a lot of time too. So again, all the maps are done, all the battles are playable, and there's only two cutscenes that need like tiny improvements, you know? Uh, there needs to be some balancing, better backgrounds, ending sequences improvements. By the way, when Toby makes a statement like this, this means we're really close. Uh, so if you didn't know, uh, Toby, right before chapters are completed, uh, he makes his friends play the chapter. He did this with chapter two and he did it with chapter three. I, I think I can actually look up exactly when, when he actually said that. Chapter two's development is going well. I had a friend try a beta version. She enjoyed it a lot after when I asked her favorite character from chapter one or two, she said, Burley, I don't know what to do with this feedback. This was in the same release year of chapter two and if we look at the time frame between this, which was in April, to September, was was when chapter two released. So that was four or five-ish months before chapter two was released. Now the thing is, is that I think the release kind of thing is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be, might be a little bit more time consuming because this is a paid release in comparison to a free release. Uh, in a different newsletter, Toby also said that he got one of his friends to play uh, an unfinished version of chapter three and chapter three was finished almost directly after that. So that means we're pretty much close. He gets his friends to play it when we're really close to a release. So he is saying that the release is still far away. There is like an entirely uh, like massive read here on what they have to do uh, in order to release the full game. And it gives a lot of insight on game development. If you're really interested in how game development works, I recommend reading this whole thing. I'm not going to read the whole thing for the video. Like it, it would just be me rereading everything. It wouldn't be transformative enough, right? Uh, basically what he's saying is that they need to localize it. They need to test for bugs. They need to port it to consoles. And he, he gives basically a TLDR here. So testing new function, by the way, uh, the game change function is first. So Deltarune chapter one and two are going to get updated. That's the, that's the first thing. Uh, there's going to be a demo update, uh, probably in like the next couple of days where they're pretty much doing this new function called game underscore change. It's the game underscore change function. And if you don't know how that works, this has been knowledge for well over a year at this point. This has been like a new function game maker has been working on for a very, very long time. If you don't know, Deltarune chapter one and two are both in one singular data.win file. And data.win holds the entirety of the game's content. Now, it was like that for Undertale, and it was like that for Deltarune Chapter 1 and 2. And so the problem with Chapter 1 and 2 being in one singular data.win is that it is entirely fucking messy. <laughs> if you look into the game files of Deltarune Chapter 1 and 2, you'll learn that they actually ported Deltarune Chapter 1 to Chapter 2. Uh, because it had to be in one singular data.win file, which is why there's clones of sprites for Chris. There's two Chris sprites. There's two Susie sprites. There's code. There, it's it's a, there's code cloned multiple times. It's it's a fucking hot mess. It is a hot mess. And so what game underscore change function does is uh, it means we don't have to rely on one data.win anymore, which is actually really really good. Uh, it's going to be better for modding as well. That means to modify one chapter, we can just mod one data.win in comparison to multiple data.wins. It's going to be huge for modding and it's going to be a lot easier for them to release chapters if everything goes according to plan as well. And the problem with that is that they have to update the game, not just on Steam, uh, but they also have to update the game on every console version of Deltarune as well. So that's a hot mess. There's a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, goes into it. They are still working 
on the other stuff while they're waiting for the game change function to be complete. So they're working on bug testing console ports, Japanese version, all of, all of that bug testing and all, all of this stuff. But we, we still got to get past this first step. Uh, so basically, there's going to be multiple data.win files. There's going to be one for chapter one, one for chapter two, one for chapter three, one for chapter four. And the game change function allows um, them to basically ch pick and choose which data that win uh, it's like a chapter select thing and if you look if you look onto the documentation there you go uh, it even uses chapter three as an example and this documentation has been around for a, a pretty long time so which is why we know about it literally uses Deltrin chapter three as an example it's pretty funny even though chapter four is mainly finished there is still a little ways away from a release I'll talk about that in just a second but interestingly another here we got some uh, uh i wanted to talk about this uh text we actually get to see P pretty cool we got el nina we got our check information from chapter three and lanino being alone i don't know if that's the text that's the check information for lanino but that's pretty funny if so and uh we got some new rules card text so it looks like rules is probably going to play a bigger role as well he calls us a bimbo again as, as he would um lancer Ginger Guard, this is a new enemy that we haven't seen yet. It's gonna be like either one of two things, right? Either we're getting, chapter four is taking place in like a candy dark world, or uh, we're going on a cooking show uh, for chapter three, cause it's TV world, right? And then we have Shadow Guy, which we've all also have seen before as well. When I think this is going to come out is it's not coming out for Undertale's nine year anniversary. That's way too soon. Um, they're, they're still not even at the testing new function yet. Um, I believe somewhere in this article, it did say that they are starting to work on the Japanese version when this newsletter came out. So they are on the Japanese localization. Assuming if that's the case, this step could already be completed. Maybe they could go back and change a couple of things. If they're already doing stuff on the Japanese version, then like this, this is probably almost done. Uh, then you have console ports, um, bug testing, and then re the release of the game. Judging on my awesome calendar here, Deltarune's seven year anniversary for chapter one is coming out on October 31st. And Toby loves to release things on anniversary dates. So judging based on all of this information and the fact that he got a friend to go ahead and play an unfinished version of chapter four, just like he did with chapter two, just like he did with chapter three, we're pretty close. And I'm assuming my best guess is probably around the date of October 31st. Maybe the announcement will be on October 31st and then the release will be a couple days after, or maybe the, the announcement will come like a couple days before October 31st. If it's not October 31st, I can say a Christmas release could very likely be the case as well. You know, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a Christmas release, uh, cause that's what, like that's around, that's around five months out, right? So when the game change function comes out, I believe Luigi UTMC is going to port over AI Deltarune to the new version. All the text for chapter two is stored in the data.win, the current one, which is gonna be good for the release of chapter three and four. That means I can package it all into one download uh, because I will create AI Deltarune chapter three and AI Deltarune chapter four. And that's it, that's all for me. Uh, thank you for watching. YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Go ahead and see if they're correct. Bye-bye.